As always with a case of new champions, I'd rather not say right from the start what kind of champion counters them, since they'll most likely suffer a lot of changes when they actually get out of the PBE, and in that case, let's move on to how specifically it works. Her passive allows her to choose any ally, and she visually transforms into them for a duration. It allows for some really interesting jukes, especially when combined with her W. Her Q makes her throw a seed at a target location that can burst up to three times. It keeps bursting after the first one, if it either kills an enemy or strikes an enemy champion or a large monster. Her W is an activatable LeBlanc passive, which doesn't allow her to control the movement of the clone, but still can let her decide the direction in which it runs when it first casts. Casting this does not disrupt her passive transformation as well. Her W also passively grants her bonus damage and movement speed for every third auto she hits. When she activates her E, it will throw a tangle of roots that roots enemies. If it hits at least two enemies, then it speeds up and roots the last champion hit for longer. Finally, her ultimate makes her charge for a brief duration, still being able to move, before jumping into the air becoming untargetable, shielding herself and dealing damage as well as stunning all enemies in the area. Seriously, on paper, this sounds like one of the most powerful ultimates in the game. It's a mixture of Nunu damage, Zeya untargetability, Kai'Sa shield, and pre-work Galio CC. I wonder how abusive this will be. It's easily tilt-inducing, and because of the slow it also inflicts, unless you have some sort of dash or flash, you're doomed, mate. As for her spells, this is clearly a champion made for jungling, so you'll most likely see the flash smite combo since it doesn't benefit from a lot more. She'll almost definitely start with a Q because of her clearing the first jungle camps, and go for the root exactly for that same reason as well as level 2. I reckon she'll be built more like an assassin mage rather than a supportive one, so the runic echoes and chant will be very interesting for her, as well as Lich Bane, which works great with her passive W. Finally, you can expect her to be a great burster in the early stages of the game, and she'll most likely stay very useful because of her ult in the late game. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, her ultimate allows her to dive you with ease because of her invulnerability, her root passes through minions so there's no minion blocking opportunities there, and please don't be baited into the jungle when following a low enemy.